everyone i'm back with another video and in today's video we have a dell g15 laptop the exact model for this one is the dell g15 5511 and in this video i'm gonna go over how you can open up the laptop and how you can upgrade the storage and what are the combination of the storage you can have in here and uh, what are the advantage and disadvantage and what are the maximum capacity because i saw a few people called up dell and they told them that you can go up to 500 gig or one terabyte that's just not true and i don't know why they keep saying that because they want people to go buy new laptops or something anyway so there's a two storage you can have in here you can add an extra storage or you can remove or remove the body storage the main storage just remember once you remove the main storage in here you have to reinstall your windows on the new storage i made a really short video how to create your windows 10 usb boot drive that same thing applies for Windows 11, just change 10 to 11. And I made a short video how to install it in that USB Windows boot drive into a Dell laptop. I'll leave those links in the video description. It takes literally up to probably 10 minutes to install the Windows and view updates and you're ready to go. So that's no uh, reason to not do it. And just remember you have to back up your files. So back up your files before you upgrade in the main storage. And you want to power off the laptop. Do not put on a standby or anything powered off completely. To make sure that it's completely powered off, just power it on and hold the power button for five to six seconds. And that way it will shut down completely. All right. So I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using. Tool number one is the screwdriver set. I recommend you guys to have a really good screwdriver, which is for my preference is an iFix screwdriver set. And if you get the Pro set, they will include you with the opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, grab the basic set. From this basic set, we're gonna use a Phillips number one. You can use Phillips number zero. And for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are very really suitable to opening cases and covers. So with this one here, we're gonna get it started. On the bottom of the laptop, there's a few screws in here. Not all the screws are gonna come out because there's a few screws that they have a little seal lock on them. I'll explain that in a second. First, you're gonna remove the screws that we can actually remove. Is the one on the back corners by the rubber legs. And there's a two screws in the middle of the, in front middle of the laptop. So go ahead and remove these uh, four screws. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you want my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions in a commentary. I appreciate that. All right, just remember all these four screws are the same size and height, so don't worry about mismatching them. Keep them in one pile. Now, regarding the rest of the screws, these screws, they have a lot of C-lock. What is a C-lock? The C-lock is on the other side of the screw that will prevent the screw coming out entirely. And it, and what's the reason for that C-lock is to help you to separate the case from the palm rest. So as soon as I start rotating this screw, you're gonna see a gap opening between the covers right there. So there you go. You see that gap? So you wanna twitch and then you that click sound and you, when you wanna stop, same thing in here, it's gonna help you to remove the cover easy. So remove those screws and same thing on the other side. Just loosen up, I mean, not remove completely. You see, when I rotated this side, only opened the gap here, didn't open up all the way here, that's no problem. But that's when you wanna use the opening tool. If yours is not opening all the way here, you find a way to wiggle the guitar pick in there and just wanna twist it like that and work yourself all around, probably a little harder. And you wanna hear a click sound. Once you hear those click sound, that means the cover is coming up. Now, it's very, very important that you hold the cover from the front end of the laptop, not from the back. You want to lift it up from front, wiggle it around, and bring it up and pull it towards yourself. Because there's a tiny clips in here, this hinges was under the back grill plastic right there. So you don't want to yank it up from the back, otherwise it's not going to come out or it's going to break down the hinges. So you want to pull it up from the front, 45 degree, and pull it back. All right, now that we removed the cover, Right away, we can see the battery, the RAM, and the Wi-Fi board. And I see right away that there's a little SSD M.2 NVMe right in here. This is a Gen 4. And there's another Gen 3 
in, on the other side. This one is at Gen 4 and Gen 3. To remove the hard drive or the RAM, you do not need to remove the battery. It's absolutely not necessary, but for those people that are paranoid and they just want to be on a safe side, if they think that they are on the safe side, they can just pull this jack backward, slide it back, and the battery is going to get disconnected. If not, just push it straight in and pinch it all the way in there and leave it be. All right. To remove the hard drive, you want to remove one screw on the side of the hard drive right in here. The one that they actually gave you it is a short form factor M.2. Once you remove the screw, you want to bring it up. There's a little thermal pad on it. There's a tiny screw on the other side on this here. I didn't see that. So remove the two screws on the metal sheet. And then you want to bring it up, lift, lift this one up. You don't really actually need the thermal, uh, this heat sink for M.2s. So once you remove that one, now you can just slide back this one. I'm going to slide it. This is the small, short ones. Um, it's kind of you just want to slide it backward. So there is a 500 gig SSD NVMe here. These are they don't last a long time, so I recommend you guys grab a proper M.2, and I recommend you a 980 Pro version of the Samsung. These are really really durable and they last you many years. So this, I mean, for demonstration, I'm gonna show you. When you grab it up, make sure the notch under here, let me put this one to one side, the notch in here matches the notch right on the dim, which is right over here. So you wanna bring it like that, you don't wanna bring it like this. Before we do that, we need to remove this clip, this riser, we're gonna move this riser backward. So I'm gonna push it towards the motherboard, right there, push it towards here, lift it up, bring it all the way here on the back side, and then it slide it into its place. They only give you one riser, there's no riser on this side, that's a disappointment, they, have, they do give you an extra story, but they don't give you risers. So I'll try to get the link for this ones. So you wanna, Plugging the M.2 is straight inside the jack in a 10 or 15 degree, all the way in, and make sure the screw hole matches. And you don't need to put the uh, this cooling on it. You don't actually need it. Once you go after four terabyte, then you're gonna need cooling after four terabyte, four terabyte or over. So up to two terabyte, there's no problem. Then when you wanna just put down the screw, and it stays right on it. Now you can put a four terabyte in here. I mean, two terabyte in here and two terabyte in here. That will work fine, but that's a good combination. But if you don't want to touch your system, let's put back down the original one here. So let's go full. This is kind of hard. There you go. So. Let me see if there is a little part number right on it. I'm gonna write this part number down. It's a Z zero X eight or B, I think. I, yeah, it's a zero X B M Y nine. So I tried to get this uh, risers and I'll leave the link in the video description. All right, let's put this one in. And put this screw right over. All right. And the second option is to leave you 500 gig for your Windows, and you can add an additional two terabyte in here without touching your programs or anything like that. Just add it in here, and you will just detect that as a secondary partition. You can leave it in here with double-sided tape. It's not going to go anywhere. It's gonna be safe. You don't actually need the risers in case you don't want to do it properly. So you can just grab a little double-sided foamy tape in here and bring it down, connect it and push it and it will stick to this metal thing. So you don't need the rise, uh, riser for it. But if you wanna be picky, I'll try to find it. I'll leave the link in the video description. All right, so that's the best way of upgrading and you can go two terabyte two terabyte or can keep this one and add an additional two terabyte 
If you did your upgrade, you want to just make sure you connect the battery back in once you're disconnected. And you want to grab the bottom cover. You want to bring it down in 45 degree all the way inside the jack in there. And then bring down, push down the front, hold it and tight, tighten the screws in here so it can pull the cover back to itself. If you see any opening, you just want to pinch it down like in the corners. It's going to make tiny clicks and that'll be all. And this is how you can upgrade the storage for your Dell G15-5511. If you guys have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a the video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. Just going to finish up putting up the bottom screws.